Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Joel from Terry Chill Academy. Right now, we are going to solve this question together. Okay, so this question is regarding circles. Okay, so if we read the question, they said that three identical circles of diameter 1, 1 meter are being confined by an elastic band. Okay, find the length of the elastic band, leaving your answer in terms of pi. Okay, so how can we work out the elastic band? Okay, the length of the elastic band. Okay, so notice that you can actually find out the center point of the circles first. Okay, so let's connect the centers of the circle first. Okay, as such. Okay, so firstly, when you connect the centers of the circle, okay, this will also give you two times of the radius on one side. Okay, this also means that one side of the triangle is one meter. Okay, the one side of the triangle is one meter. Okay, now notice that you can also draw a line segment that is perpendicular to where the end of the circle is okay so if i draw a line segment over here okay notice that this is 90 degrees okay it is perpendicular and this means that this length over here will be one meter as well okay because it will be the same as one side of an equilateral triangle okay so we can also do the same for the other two triangles Okay, once again, right angle, and this will be 1 meter. Okay, same for the last part. So we will have, also, this is 1 meter. Okay, and this is also right angle. Okay, so now, notice that I have found this 1 meter, 1 meter, 1 meter, all that we are left with to find is the curved part. So how do we find the curved part? Okay, so I'm going to use a different color now. Okay, firstly, we know that the center triangle is an equilateral triangle. So what do we know from an equilateral triangle? Is that one side of the equilateral triangle will be 60 degrees. Okay, and we also know that this is 90 degrees, okay, as well as this part is 90 degrees, okay, the other side of the rectangle is 90 degrees. So, can we work out what is this angle? Okay, so we can actually work out the angle of this area, okay, of this part of the circle, okay, which is 360 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 60 degrees minus 90 degrees okay and you will work that out to actually give you 120 degrees okay so you will notice that 120 degrees will actually be one third of a circle okay this means that this is 120 degrees okay but you will notice that you have three of these 120 over 360 which is the same as one entire circle okay what i mean is that if we want to find the curved circumference okay therefore we can straight away find the elastic band okay the elastic band we know that we have three meter over here right so this is one plus one plus one okay so we have three plus okay because we have three times of that circumference Okay, so 3 times of what? 3 times of 120 over 360 times pi and mass times the diameter. Okay, so the diameter is just 1. Okay, so notice that you will have 3 and 120 will give you 360. So the answer will be 3 plus pi meter. Okay, and that is your 
answer. Okay, so once again, we can draw the line segment to find the straight part of the elastic band, which is 1 meter plus 1 meter plus 1 meter. Okay, to find the curved part, we have to identify that there is an equilateral triangle and making use of the two right angles from the rectangle, we can find out the angle in which it creates the circumference for one part. Okay, and that's why we multiply by 3 because we have 3 of that which is actually equivalent to one entire circle. Okay, so therefore we can find the elastic band length which is just 3, okay, which is the straight line plus the curved portion which is pi d times 120 over 360 times 3. Okay, and this will give you the answer which is 3 plus pi meter. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.